Hey guys, this is Brandon with Rusk Woodwork and Family, and what a Friday it's been. Uh, the kid just got home from school. We, uh, I'm actually getting ready to go do some dog training. They're over here swinging on the, the swing. We're, uh, we'll, me and Layton's actually going to be going to uh, Dale City uh, tomorrow for another wrestling tournament, so he's pretty excited about that. Uh, I think mom's got a, a Christmas dinner to go to, so it's just going to be me and Layton again, and uh, the kids are going to go stay with Nana and Papa. So that's about what we got planned for this weekend. Um, wow, the orders still keep pouring in, uh, and we're just super blessed with uh, everybody ordering the flags, and we're still right on schedule with all of our flags being delivered uh, for Christmas time. We uh, actually just went and bought some more lumber uh, yesterday and we started cutting again last night. So if uh, you're still interested in a flag, we still have some in stock. Uh, uh, probably in the middle of next week, probably the 10th or 11th, we're going to shut it off. Uh, I, I don't think, we're not going to take a chance of uh, somebody purchasing a flag and they not receiving it. So we're going to shut it off probably the 10th most likely. Um, I extended my vacation uh, due to all the orders, which that's fine. Uh, we really enjoy it. Like I said, it's been a blessing for me and my family. Uh, it's been really nice. Been a lot of work out in the shop, but hey, that's that's what we started this for. We started building these flags in 2017. Really enjoy it, and it's taught taught my kids a lot of things. You know, they know if. Uh, uh, that they want to go buy buy some toys or something they know they can come out there and do something in the shop and they work a little bit and earn a little bit of money uh, me growing up that's how I had to earn my money which was in a hay field uh, but you know the kids are still too young to do the hay stuff but what are you doing boy Nothing. What, what's your plans for this weekend sit um, tomorrow I'm gonna be going to Dell City to wrestle and Sunday afternoon I'm going to my birthday. Oh yeah, I forgot about your birthday. Where, where are we having the birthday party? Skate World. Skate World. Yeah, I forgot about his birthday party. It's this weekend. His birthday's actually uh, December 22nd, but we're going to have it a little bit earlier uh, just so that we can get invitations out to the kids uh, at his school and they have the opportunity to come to the birthday party. So, yeah, how old are you going to be? Eight. Eight years old. A big eight years old. I was actually watching uh, Facebook uh, uh, earlier this morning, and you know how it brings up the memories or, or your past. And uh, I saw a video. It, it had to be uh, seven, seven. Well, it had to be about six years ago because he was a little baby and he was playing in the front room. And at the time, I worked for a tow, towing company, a uh, PM Wrecker, and. Uh, so he was all into wreckers and stuff and in and, uh, and the floor was a wrecker and a police car and he was uh, sitting there uh, playing and he'd crash them and then he'd want help on how to uh, how to to recover it and uh, so it's really good going back seeing these memories in which this is what I like about the YouTube deal all these videos making with the kids I mean these would be memories from here on out and they will always remember this so what are you doing, Addison? Nothing. Nothing? What's your big plans for the weekend? Nothing. You're going to do what now, Sissy? Uh, uh, Daddy and I at Papa and Nana with Papa and Daddy and uh, here and Taylor. Oh, you are? Uh, we're going to go down here and play some fetch with Harley and then uh, get some training gates out and let him do some work. So, I hope you all enjoy this. All right, guys, we're down here at the Roxy's Pen. We're getting ready to uh, get her out and do some training. So today she's going to be training with the cocaine uh, odor. So we're going to play fetch with the ball for a little bit. And then uh, after that, we're going to take the ball and put it around a abandoned car. And we'll let her start looking for her ball. And then that's going to teach her how to start searching a vehicle. Uh, same deal, I mean, you start them on boxes. Uh, for, for odors as well, which I use PPC tubes, and I'll show you that here in just a second when we get over here. Daddy, so, when I, when, when I first got Roxy, she was, like I say, she was about four weeks old. So, 
to start build first I, I built a relationship with her just loved on her uh, then started feeding her uh, then we moved on to uh, starting to get her on odors to see if she would actually take or she had ball drive at the time we didn't know if she had ball drive or not so to have a good working dog the dog's going to have to have ball drive uh, because that's the reason why the dog searches for the narcotics or guns or whatever the dog does is because they're wanting the toy they're wanting the play so when i started uh, roxy off uh, i've got the pvc tubes here as you see so this tube here has got an in on it i don't know if you can see that it says in so i'll put the in there for the narcotic uh, i started her out on the math on this uh, so work a couple weeks I, I i use about two weeks and what i would do is underneath here is inside the tube you'll see there's a uh, see if you can see it uh, a little drainer deal uh, I put that on the bottom just so when the dog goes through to uh, smell the narcotic he, he can't actually get to the, the odor uh, and sometimes we put food in other ones so I'll get to that here in just a second so what we do is we'll set the odor inside here at the bottom and then uh, hold this light We'll set the odor in the bottom here, and then I'll actually put the cap back on it. And then we'll, we'll set it out on the ground. Well, well, I'll show you here in just a second. I'll go ahead and uh, explain this here. So this in here, it's got a B on it. So so the B is for blank. Uh, blank that I, I'll put air fresheners in, tobacco, uh, food, dog food, just anything and everything. That way, you want them odors to be around there, so when you're working him, he knows that ain't the odor he's looking for to get as a reward. Because a lot of the vehicles that you deal with, most of them's got cigarettes or tobacco, alcohol. Um, they just do all kinds of things to try to throw you off. So, for instance, if I walk up to a vehicle, and as soon as I stop a vehicle, I walk up there and they immediately light a cigarette. Okay, that's that's show, starting to show me some signs that they're trying to cover up something or they're extremely nervous. So anyways, the tobacco, it's called proofing them. You always want to proof your dog. Uh, for instance, we'll put baggies in them. Uh, you want to proof for baggies, dog food, uh, just our regular food, air fresheners, anything that's going to be in a vehicle, uh, basically just to make sure they're proofed. So I'll set a couple of these out, which inside here this is just a, a exact blank this is just when i start training with them this i'll actually just start out with this and and then the narcotic order. the other ones will have the uh the other ones has got the screens in them just like the the one with the narcotic deal so anyways i will uh i'll go ahead and set these out and we'll show you how it works Here's the deal, my camera tripod leg just broke, so we're gonna have to bend down until we get back up the house and I, I can fix it. So this is the, the one with the end. So what I'm gonna do inside this bowl is a, uh, this is a cocaine, cocaine odor. So inside of it, I always cut a little hole inside then put the, the odor inside. So in this other ball, this is just his reward ball. So once Roxy finds the odor, and stick some nose in it, I'm gonna to toss this other bowl down there and it's basically panning. It. Well, it's got a rope at the end of it. Well, the rope is, uh, I'm going to kind of fight with her, pull, actually it, playing with her. And that just makes their drive even more. And to even to make their drive a lot better and make them work, work at it, sometimes it's to put a, a rope at the end of it and just kind of twirl it. And, and let them chase it, and that'll also help them do the that. So, just go ahead and get this started. So, we're going to put the ball. Doesn't have these, does not have any other holders in them. I'm just demonstrating, so I'm going to go ahead and 
guys that was that was working with the PVC pipes so uh, she's she's pretty wound up right now so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go over and put her ball into a car and let her find it in a car and see how she does she's only done this one or two times so uh, she's fairly new to it so hopefully she does well so we'll see so like like I say this is the third time that she's ever ever actually worked her ball out in the car so we'll see how it goes Duck it down a little for it to get her. I will be going. Yeah, I'll throw it. Ooh, I hate daddy now. That's basically how I train my dogs. So, like I say, it's not real hard work. It just takes a lot of time uh, to spend with them and just love and care for them like you should an animal. So, and that's, I mean, that's just what it takes to, to have a good narcotics dog. So I'm gonna go ahead and get Roxy put up in here so I don't have to worry about her dropping my camera. She almost took it out a while ago. So let's get her put up. Oh, perfect, perfect. Let's 
try it again. I want to get you on the run. Oh, beautiful pass. Beautiful pass. Three, four. 